How you doing? Good evening to everyone. Good evening. It is now another blessing to be back together for at least 30 minutes in the session of learning what the Lord God would have us to learn. Tonight we learn more about Ruth follows Naomi. Amen. It is the lesson title. And the lesson text is from Ruth, chapter 1, verses 1 through 9, 14b, and 16. Related scriptures are Judges, the second chapter, 11 to 19, and Matthew 19, 27 through 30. And we are in the time between... 11.30 to 11.20 B.C. And our place is Moab. And we are just so thankful to have a golden text that reads, Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, uh, to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. Ruth 1, 16. Our lesson outline is four. A family migration, Ruth 1, verses 1 and 2, and <coughs> second, a family tragedy, Ruth 1, 3 through 5, and the third one is a family party, Ruth 1, 6 through 9, and the fourth one is a family loyalty, Ruth 1, 14b and 16. Amen. So as we read the scripture lesson text tonight, we see the lesson is given great emphasis on who? The family. Amen. The family is so important. Whether having to leave home because of a tragedy, on the weather to part together, we must uh, understand that uh, we should be very loyal Amen. to one another in the family. Amen. Because family that prays together stays, stays together. together. Amen. A lot of our problems in the world today comes from families. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's right. Amen. So that, that tells us that quite a bit of loyalty is being neglected in the family. Mm -hmm. For the first outline gives us uh, an illustration of what can happen in your immediate family. Verse 1, Ruth 1 and 2. And I came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Bethlehem Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab and he and his wife and his two sons. And, he, and the man and the name of the man was Emelech and the name of the wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons was Marlon and Kilion. Everythites of Bethlehem, Judah, and they came into the country of Moab and continued there. We see that the famine being in Judah at this particular time in the book of Ruth occurred in the days 
that the judges rule. Politically and chaotically saying that when Israel had no kind of government, spiritually, there became frequent apostasy. Apostasy, the big word apostasy is none other than leaving God for another God. Mm -hmm. That's one of the matter of fact, the most sinful sin that you can commit when you put another God before God. The first commandment is, Thou shalt have no other God before, before me. The book of Ruth tells us about these judges, and the judges were trying to keep them. As long as they had a good judge, they did okay. For a while. But then they just went the other way. They committed apostasy, not a little bit, but strongly. Strongly meaning that they just disobeyed God and didn't mind telling you. And look, this place, Moab, where this family migrated to was close connected to Bethlehem. So they decided they would leave because the tragedy of a family. No or little food was to be found. No job or little jobs was to be found. So obviously the lesson tells us that this particular family decided to get up and leave. What did other families do? The Bible doesn't tell us, but we can imagine in our mind they must have stayed mm -hmm. in Bethlehem with Judah. Why did they stay? Some of them must have trusted God yeah. a little bit more than this family, Ruth's family did. So we see that Naomi and her family her husband, Emelech, said, we're going to leave here because we can't eat. No work to be done. So let's go. Sometimes leaving your hardship sometimes will lead you into a hard hardship <laughs> if you don't leave with the right frame of mind. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I heard someone say, all that good is not good. Amen. It may have looked like more I've had uh, now, 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 look, Moab was the descendants of Lot. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Moab uh, was, was, was the son of Lot through incest. Show you how merciful God is. See, Moab, uh, Lot's two daughters got him drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, when uh, God rained down fire and saw him in the heart. Okay? And they said, okay, there's no that, that there is no one else around and we got to keep a lineage going here so let's get our daddy drunk and let's go into him. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so bottom line is God looks beyond our faults to see our needs. He let these people migrate because he's a merciful. God let you go wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, God mm -hmm. You know, like giving you slack, giving you, you go. That's what you want to do, you do it. You know, and that's why some people cannot understand God as God because they can do whatever they want to do. And they feel like they can say what they want to say. And they can go where they, they want to go. They can be what they want to be. They want to be something other than what God made them. They say, okay, and where is this God? Ah, this, this is me. I want to be me. You can be you. But you going and me going Leave this earth. Amen. Amen. But we got another place to go. Amen. And there's two places, heaven or hell. Amen. I want to go to hell. Amen. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm going to stay where I am. Storms may rise, trials and tribulations may come. Sickness and death may invade the ranks of my life, but I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging. Amen. I'm going to stay right where I am until I 
until God show me I need to move. We go far. Until God show me I need to tack up. Amen. You need to tack up, John, because a storm is coming. God Amen. don't have to do that for me. Amen. Not the news reporter. That's right. Not the meteorologist. Not even the chief meteorologist. Amen. Amen. And you know he knows what's going on. Amen. Amen. But he doesn't know everything. Amen. He doesn't he, 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 he might not, I don't know for sure, but he might not know the power of my God. Right. So therefore, I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hand in scarcity and plenty and uh, I love what Pastor Paul said I find myself content in whatever state of mind. Whatever state I find myself in I find, I find myself content because I'm going to trust in God. Amen. 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 So we see the importance here of the family is where you're going can make a big difference in your life. Amen. And let's, let's look at this difference that was made. In the second outline, a family tragedy took place in verses 3 through 5. And Emelette, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives of the women of Moab, and the name of the one was Aqua, and the name of the other was Ruth. And they dwelt there about 10 years. And Marlon and Kilion did die as both, also both of them, and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Mm -hmm. Whether God rained down wrath, I can't say. But this must have been tough. Mm -hmm. She lost her sons to women of another nation or another country or another set intermarriages were not permitted at that time to strange countries because God wanted Israel to be his chosen covenant people to show people he was no matter but God and they was not to bow down nor bend nor budge in no form or fashion to any other person. Amen. Move into another country was one thing, but they went and married into the country. Amen. Okay, now saying whether God went against them for that, I don't know. Well, because there's young marriages today. Is God going against people because they married of another right. race or another kind or another color? Whatever. But God does go against same-sex marriages. Amen. I want that to be known. Amen. He go in, go, there is nowhere in the Bible God condones that. I don't care who said who 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 didn't write what right. <laughs> Amen. God's word is right. I don't care how much you say it's wrong. Amen. Or it's not put together like it's supposed to be. God knows everything. Amen. So we see here that. This family had a tragedy that no one would want to endure. No one would want to go through. No one would want to be a part of. But sometimes tragedies come, don't they? Mm -hmm. And we must understand that when tragedies come, to give God the praise. Amen. It's hard to lose a loved one. It's hard, Amen. especially in the family. Amen. Especially a husband. Then losing a yes. husband and then losing her two sons. Amen. We say... Uh, and they had been there for 12, for 10 years, for 10 years. But we see here, after 10 years of being there, what this mother had to go through it. No husband to support her. Mm. No son, she probably could depend on them, but they died. Mm. So now what is she gonna do? She got to go back to where she came from. Mm -hmm. A family migrated, if you look at, at uh, the first outline, then you skip the second outline, what caused the tragedy was a family party. Mm -hmm. What family was that part of in the third outline? As we read, verses 6, Then she arose with her daughters-in-law, that she might return from the country of Moab, be careful how you leave home, children. You 
you might have to go back. Amen. For she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people and given them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her daughters-in-law with her and they went on the way to return unto the land of Judah. Amen. And they only said unto her two daughters and <coughs> go return each uh, to your her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the, with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that ye may find rest. Each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them. And they lift up their voice. <coughs> and they wept. They almost said, I'm going back because I, I heard that good things were happening in my country. You know, it's amazing how how people can cling to you when you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. They'll hold on to you tight <laughs> when things are moving graciously. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you've been there or not, but I have. I have been on jobs I've lost. Mm -hmm. Didn't know whether I was going to find another job. Mm -hmm. I've heard of people leaving their wives and leaving their husbands and leaving their families because the jobs played out on them. Mm -hmm. But don't you know, I don't care what happened in your life, you need to trust God. Amen. Amen. Whatever you lose in life, put it in the hands of God. Amen. Just like you lost it, He can give you back Amen. more than you lost. Amen. Amen. Job had three sons, uh, three daughters and seven sons. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lost every last one of them. Mm -hmm. Job was the richest of all in the land of the east. Mm -hmm. But Job trusted God. Mm -hmm. Job put his faith in God. Mm -hmm. Now his wife told him he need to cuss God mm -hmm. and go and die. That's right. now, 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 not to another country, Job. Because you're going to suffer over there too. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead on and die. Mm -hmm. But thank God for Job, mm -hmm. who gave us the best illustration. Mm -hmm. But he, he had to rebuke his wife spiritually, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, You speak as a foolish woman mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. He said, Out of all that the Lord has done for us, mm -hmm. you're going to tell me to curse God and die. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. I came in this world with nothing. I'm going to leave in this world with nothing. And don't you know we need to live like that regardless of how the strong winds blow, Amen. how the storms may rise, how trials and tribulations may invade our life. We need to stand still and what? And know that God is on his throne. Amen. He's taking me through this for a reason. Amen. Amen. Man. And 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 this hit these young women pretty tough when uh, Naomi had to leave and turn and leave because she didn't have no way of support. Uh, if, they, if the women, if the if the daughter-in-laws got married again, they couldn't take their husbands to Naomi as their son-in-laws. <laughs> Amen. 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 So she logically had to put in mind, I must go back to my people. Sometimes we leave our people when we ought to be sticking with our people. Amen. 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 That, 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 that means a, a racial comment. That means that family-wise. Family-wise, we must try to hold together as much as we possibly can but because we don't know what family member we're going to need. Watch it now. Yeah. That family that doesn't have nothing right now, one day, that family might have something. Amen. And you or me might need something. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Who can we go to? That family, we didn't, didn't have nothing. And, we, 
and we didn't want we didn't want to be connected to them like we want needed to be. So let's look at this real close with you. They wept when Naomi said she was leaving, and so uh, Ruth, Amen, and. Uh, Declared that she just couldn't do it. Mm. We're up to family loyalty. Mm. That you got some loyal families, mm. members, mm. and then you got some family members that just don't know what loyalty means. Mm. Amen. Mm. Verses 14b says, and also kissed her mother in law, <coughs> but Ruth. Claim unto her. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee or return from and following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge, and thy people shall be my people, and thy God shall be my God. Amen. My God. Amen. Amen. My God. Don't, don't you get a good relief sometimes when you just say, my God. Because you, you know, my God is the only God can take me through my migration period. Amen. Can take me through any tragedy. Amen. It can put me together when I'm all destroyed. Amen. Somebody's going through a migration mental right now. They're not, they're not necessarily going to another country, they're not necessarily going to another place. They are in a position right now that they can't think right, they can't mm -hmm. eat right, they can't live right, they can't do right, and they are not on point on, with God for put, put it in the hands of God. Amen. Whatever that you're going through, you don't have to be going nowhere. You can be right there in your living room right. and going through a tragedy. Amen. Worse than leaving, going to another country. Amen. But put it in God's hands. Amen. In Naomi's God. Amen. And Naomi had love for her daughter-in-law because she gave them her blessings from God yes, to yes. meet other people yes, and, and get married, other men and get married. Yes, she Amen. She Amen. she wasn't, I'm going where the real God is. She didn't get all hyper and say, I'm, I'm going for my mind God. But she she left them with her blessings. Amen. You know, that's what family members ought to do when they leave home. Mm -hmm. Y'all leave right and leave blessings instead of curses. Amen. Amen. There's some people walking out the house right now. I hope this old house burn up. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all burn up in it. That is not the way to leave home. Mm -hmm. You leave home in a very humble way. Amen. Children don't leave home any kind of way. Leave in a very humble way. Husband and wife don't. Leave your family yeah, right. any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Be like Ruth. Mm -hmm. Follow somebody that's godly if you're looking for somebody that's godly. Amen. She followed a godly woman. Yes, she, she knew that was godly. Yes, she did. And she declared that where you go, I'm going. Amen. Who be your people will be my people. Amen. And who will be your God will be my God. Amen. My God, my God. Amen. What a testimony. Mm. What a testimony. Who is your God? Amen. Where did your God come from? Amen. How can your God provide for you? Amen. Can he give you everything you need? Amen. Can he give you whatever you want? Amen. Can he give you some of your heart's you desire? Amen. Yes. And sometimes you'll feel like you, you've been so blessed that you, he, Lord, you don't have a blessing in Lord, Lord, you've given me so much. You're not yes, 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 yes. I can live now off the yes, blessing yes, yes, yes. that you've given me, and I don't have to look up or down, Amen. neither around nor in my back for Amen. another blessing because I know the song where to say it's rain. It's rain. Can't you feel the rain? Mm -hmm. His blessings are raining down on me. Amen. 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 I, I just forestated it. A few minutes ago, before uh, this lesson plan got started, this is the best 
30 minutes of my week yes, every Wednesday night. Amen. Because it gives me a chance to gather with God's people. Amen. With God's people who have families. Yes. I know have families. Amen. Amen. And families who are trying to stay together. Yes. Amen. Because we ought to live on family that prays together. Yes. Stay yes. together. Yes. Amen. Don't go to your table and eat all that good food without saying you're proud and giving God the thanks for Amen. it. Give God thanks at that yes. supper table, breakfast table, or lunch table, whatever. And if you're by yourself, just give him thanks anyway. Amen. Just sit down, drink him malt. Give, give him thanks in thank, thank you for the malt. Because he's the one that can get it. That's right. And he's the one that can take it away. Right. Some people can't eat popcorn because they have allergies. Amen. Amen. But he let me eat whatever I want Amen. to. Amen. Don't you think I need to give thanks to God? Amen. That he can give me that. I, I, I don't have to take a pill to drink water. Right Amen. Amen. I, I don't have to know what kind of water to drink. I just Amen. drink. drink the water. Because I know my God will not give me anything that will hurt me. That's right. Amen. To follow like Ruth tonight. Yeah. Follow godly leaders. Follow godly people. Yes. Just follow God's ways. Amen. God's ways are always right. Yes. Because his thoughts are not my thoughts. His ways yes. are not my yes. ways. His goings are not my goings. His doings are not my doings. His thoughts.